Hi there yogis, my name is Alex. Today we're going to be going through a short flow that focuses on our abs and our glutes. Kind of start some movement more within the body, challenge ourselves a little bit, build some strength. Um, I invite you today to grab a block, um, items in your house that you could use as a block, maybe books or a pantry item. At the end, if you want to end with a pillow and a blanket as well, we'll do a short shavasana, um, of course. Um, what kind of yoga flow without a shavasana, right? It's the best part. Um, so go grab your items, come meet me back, and we will start in a seated position. Coming to your crisscross applesauce, palms to those knees. So if you grabbed a block or and you're using a pillow, you could place it underneath your hips to give yourself a little bit of a lift from the earth. Sometimes it feels a little bit better on our hips, especially when we're starting to warm up, right? So just be mindful of your body if that's what you want to take here. Use those blo blocks, those pillows, your gear, that's what it's for. Hands to those knees, palms facing down here. Let's start to ground down. So root your tailbone down, spine is long, part of the head shoots towards the ceiling. Closing your eyes, take a deep breath in. Release. Deep inhale. Let it go. Beautiful, start to come to your body. Listen to your breath. How do you feel? So to circle those shoulders back. Very nice. Circle them forward. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. Very nice. We're going to lift up onto those palms, coming into our tabletop pose here just for a moment to get a little movement in our hips and our spine. So rock those hips side to side for a moment. And when you're ready, setting up for your cat cow, we'll drop the belly, lift the gaze, inhale. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, curve the spine. Drop the belly, shine your heart. Exhale, nail the spine, curl the head, goes down. So two more times, inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, tuck the tailbone. Last one, inhale. And exhale down. Beautiful, coming back to a neutral spine. We're gonna send that right foot back, toe and knee points down. Bending that knee, bottom of the foot faces the ceiling. Option to stay here. Option to add that challenge of tucking your left toe lifting that left knee to a hover. So you want to squeeze those thighs together. We're going to pulse up with that right foot here for five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Lower the right toes down. Hover. Lift that left knee if you have it lowered. Core is engaged here. Nice and tight. Breathe. One more full breath. Very nice, lower those knees back down, rock the hips side to side. Oh, other side, left leg comes back, toe and knee points down. Foot is flexed, this will help engage your glutes. Bend that knee, bottom foot faces to the ceiling, option to stay here or tuck the right toes back and lift that right knee to a hover. Either way, we're gonna pulse that left leg up for five, four, three, two, one, very nice, lower the toes, both toes come up, knees hover, we're here for five, four, three, two, one, drop the knees back down, rock the hips side to side. Very nice. We're gonna cross those ankles, come forward and through, or back and through, I suppose. Coming onto our seat once again. Those toes are gonna to be in front of this, this time. Hands behind our heads. So squeezing those shoulder blades together, strengthening our back here as well. Elbows up nice and wide, very nice. I'll bring those knees up and crunch. Lower tap. Up and crunch. Lower tap. Three more. Lift, tap, lift, tap. 
up, last one, lift, tap, hug those knees in nice and tight, curl into the tightest little ball you can. We're going to take some twists here, so going right back to that stance, toes are pointed out in front, hands behind our head, spine is long. Now, we're going to twist to the right with our upper body, pick that right foot up, keep the leg bent. Very nice, lower that foot, come back to center, twist to the right once again, straighten that right leg. Very nice, center. Pick up that right foot bent. Center, straighten, center. One more, this side, bend. Center, straight, center. Very nice, now twist to the left, pick up that left foot and bend. Center, straight, center. Bend, center, straight, center. One more, bend, center, straight, center, hug those knees in, give yourself a nice tight squeeze, very nice, we'll cross those ankles, come back forward, and come to your downward facing dog, lift those hips up and back, finding just a few breaths of movement here to get into those hamstrings, and into your shoulders, so pressing those heels down, it's okay if they do not touch yet, but maybe you find movement bending one knee and the other, let's take about two more breaths, The last one. Come up to those tippy toes. Bend your knees, step or hop up to your mat. We're gonna press up, half lift. And fold. Lift the arms, sit back to your chair pose. I'm gonna step back a little bit here, close to my cabinet. So tuck that tailbone, arms are high, take a breath. Exhale, lift up to those tippy toes. We're gonna straighten the legs. Lean forward, arms go back. Very nice. Sit back, chair pose. Come to those tippy toes. Straighten those legs, lean forward, arms go back. Very nice, three more times. Sit back, chair pose. Come to those tippy toes. Straighten your legs, lean forward, arms go back. Two more, sit back, nice and tight, tippy toes. Lift up nice and high, and lean forward, arms go back. One more, sit nice and low for me, very nice. Come to those tippy toes, straighten the legs, lean forward, arms go back, hold. So we're squeezing those shoulder blades, finding that balance here. Squeeze your core, squeeze your thighs. We're here for three, two, one. Sit back, chair pose. Arms are high, tailbone is tucked down. Take a breath, sit a little lower. One more breath, forward fold. Half lift, place the hands on the mat, step or hop back to plank. Very nice, we're gonna hold here for a few breaths. We're gonna step forward with the right foot, step forward with the left, step back with the right, step back with the left, step forward right, Left, back, left. Keep going, your pace. It's like we're climbing a mountain here. Keep your breath. Stay nice and tight. Take three more sets. Forward and back. Two more. Last one. Lift the hips, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath, let it go. One more deep breath, let it go. Send that right leg up to the sky. Very nice, toe knee points down, inhale. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale out, knee to forehead. Inhale out, one more knee to forehead. Inhale out, exhale, step that foot forward in between the hands. Rise, crescent lunge. So, nice and strong stance here. Our back heel is lifted, keeping that back knee lifted here as well. So we're in a high crescent lunge. Shoulders are relaxed, take a breath. Lower the back knee, hover. Inhale, lift, engage, lower, hover. Lift, lower, hover. Three more, lift. Lower hover, lift, lower hover. One more, lift, lower hover, and hold here. Very nice, so squeezing those glutes, 
squeeze everything in. You are nice and tight. You are strong. Nothing is going to knock you down, right? We're here for three, two, one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open wide to your warrior two. We won't be here for two terribly long. Just open those hips here for a moment. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Take a breath. Exhale, lower that right hand down to the ground. We're going to play with some balance here. So let me adjust my stance. Plant your right hand. Left hand comes to the hip. When you're ready, come into your half moon. That left leg lifts. Back foot is flexed or pointed. This will help with your leg engagement, your glute engagement. Now squeeze that core. Maybe you that left arm high. We're going to do some toe taps here. So lower the left foot down and tap. Inhale, lift. Lower tap. Inhale, lift, lower tap, lift, keep it going, lower tap, lift, lower tap, lift, three more, lower tap, lift, lower tap, lift, last one, lower tap, lift, very nice, lower both hands to the ground, hips are dialed down, bending that right knee, drop that left foot to the back of the mat. We're going to drop that back knee. Take a gentle stretch for our hamstring. Shift back. Straightening that right leg foot again. It's flexing nice and active here, yogis. I'll press down. Inhale. Exhale to fold. Down that right hip back. Our left hip is pressing forward. So nice and square stance. Take three more breaths. One more here. Very nice. Rock back forward, bending the right knee. I'm tucking that left toe and lift your leg. Sit back to a plank pose. Now before we lower through our vinyasa, come down to your forearms here. Trying to keep those hands shoulder width apart. Squeezing those glutes. Squeezing your thighs. Breathe. Pressing your elbows down into the mat. Hollow body here. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Press back up to your high plank on those palms. Take a breath. Lower chaturanga, hug those arms tight. Cobra or upward facing dog. Shine your heart, stretch that belly. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Let it go. Other side, left leg lifts, toe and knee points down. Squaring off those hips, take another breath. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale out. Knee to forehead. Inhale out. Last time, knee to forehead. Inhale out. Exhale, step forward in between the hands. Rise, crest, and lunge. Woo. Back heel is lifted. Left or right leg is long and strong. Squeezing those glutes. Squeeze your thighs together. Core is nice and tight. Arms are high. Very nice to find that energy shooting through your fingers. Take a breath. Lower the back knee. Hover. Inhale, lift. Lower, hover. Lift. Lower, hover. Three more. Lift. Lower hover, lift, lower hover. One more, lift, lower hover and hold here. Very nice, squeeze those glutes. Notice if you're just hanging out here. Nice and tight. We're here for three, two, one. Inhale, lift, exhale, open wide, warrior two. Very nice, pulling that knee over towards the pinky edge of our foot. Take a deep breath. Exhale, lower that left hand down to the ground. Right hand comes to our hip, setting up for our half moon. When you are ready, lifting off. Right leg lifts. Foot is flexed, maybe lift that right arm high. So you wanna be externally rotated here. Notice if your hips are dialed down to the mat, we don't want that, we wanna be open. We're gonna do some toe taps here, so lower the right foot down and tap. Inhale, lift. Lower tap. Lift. Lower tap. 
lift, lower top, stay nice and tight, lift, lower top, lift, three more, lower top, lift, tap, lift, last one, tap, lift, very nice. Bring both hands down to the mat. Bending that left knee, come back to your runner's lunge. Drop your back knee and untuck that toe. Shifting the way back, flexing our left foot, finding that half split here. Press down, inhale. Exhale, fold. Left hip dial back, right hip forward. Deep breaths here. Two more. Very nice. Press back in those palms, rack back forward, bending the left knee. Come back to your high plank pose. Very nice. We're going to lower back to those forearms once again. Shoulder width apart. Core is nice and tight. Drop the right hip down. Tap. Center. Left hip. Center. To the right. Center. Left. Center. Keep going. Right. Center. Left. Center. Two more. Right. Center, left, center, last one, right, center, left, center, hold, press down, stay tight, we're here for five, four, three, two, one, press back up, high plank pose, come to those palms, deep breath in, lower, chaturanga, shine your heart, Inhale, child's pose, exhale, drop into those hips, arms long in front of you. Take four more deep breaths. Two more. We're going to lift up, looking at those palms, rock forward to those forearms, cross the ankles and press through to easy seat. So we're going to inch forward on our mats because we are making our way all the way back down onto our bellies. Of course, with some boat pose though. So starting with those hands behind those knees, sit tall, come to those tippy toes. And when you're ready, lift those feet. Oh, notice that those knees are trying to come out wide. Try to squeeze them together. Bring those knees to touch as best you can. Option here to bring those palms out as well. An option to straighten those legs. Take a breath and slowly lower for five, four, three, two, one. Option to drop, option to hover, option to scissor kick. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way down. Take a deep breath. Let it go. One more deep breath. Release. Bend those knees, bring the soles of the feet to the earth. We're going to come into our bridge or wheel pose. We're gonna only do this one time. So if you have wheeling practice, you know what to do, feel free to go there. If not, I suggest bridge just to get you started, get a little comfortable with this first. So we're gonna press those palms down to the mat, reaching for those heels. Try to keep those knees hips with distance. So notice when you lift up, those knees go out wide. We want to build that inner thigh strength, so squeeze them in tight too. When you are ready, pressing down to the floor, lift the hips. Maybe you interlace those hands behind the back. Squeezing those thighs, squeeze your glutes. Very nice. Now option here to pick that right foot up, pointing to the sky and breathe. Well, if you pick that right foot up, slowly drop it down and switch sides. Left goes up. One more breath. Lower that left foot down. Keep those hips lifted. Breathe here for three, two, one. Slowly lower back down. Very nice. Windshield wipe those knees left to right. 
of coming back, knees bent, feet to the earth. We're gonna come into a figure four, so take that right ankle on top of your left knee. Foot is flexed, knee is pressing away. The option to lift that left leg here as well, reaching behind the shin or, or reaching on the shin or behind your knee. Pulling to you, maybe use that right elbow to press the knee out a little more to get into your hips. You can also straighten that left leg, reach up maybe for your ankle to get more to your hamstrings and deepen your hip stretch. Let's take two more breaths. Very nice, slowly lower that leg back down, switch sides, right foot plants, left leg on top of the right knee, flex that foot. Press that knee away, that right foot can stay to the ground, or option to lift, grabbing behind the knee or shin. You can use that left elbow to press the knee out, or you can straighten your right leg, reach up for your ankle to pull your leg forward. Deep breaths, relax your face. Three more breaths. Last one here. Very nice, slowly lower that right foot back down, unwind. Let's hug those knees to the chest one more time. Give yourself a nice, good squeeze. And then extend all the way down. But there's a pose we did not get to where you would like more of for your body today. Take your time. Closing your eyes, maybe checking back in. Do you want more for your hips, more for your spine, your shoulders and chest? Making sure to do both sides or any counter poses for your practice. When you are ready, we will come and meet in our Shavasana. So maybe that knees, legs and arms wide, laying on your back. This is where maybe you bring your pillow in under the head, your lower back, your knees or feet. If you want to get a little more comfy, you can always use a blanket. I'm a little warm for one, but you never know, right? Maybe you have a fan blowing on you, I don't. <laughs> so find a comfortable place for you to really recover, restore your body. Give it the time appreciation that it deserves, right? So you just found time to move. Let's find time for stillness now. Going nice and heavy into your mat. Take a deep breath in. Release. Deep inhale. Let it go. starting to scan your body from the top of the head all the way down to the tips of your toes and just notice are you holding on to any tension your muscles your joints your breath your thoughts try to just melt them all down to the earth allow it to hold you to support you allow the breath to become natural Taking all the time that you would like here in your Shavasana, trust me, enjoy it. I am going to go ahead and close out my end here. I want to thank you so much for sharing in your practice, your journey with me, building some movements, some heat within the body, right? We're building that strength for a stronger body, for a stronger mind. Light me honors, respects, supports, and loves the light in you. When you are in that place within you and I'm in that place within me, we are one. Bring your hands to our forehead for clear thoughts. Hands to our mouths for kind words. And hands to our heart for good intentions. Until we meet again, namaste.